All right. Shalom, everybody. Peace of the Lord to all of you. Please invite your friends. We are live in Rumble, in YouTube, and in Discord. And because we don't want to waste your time, we want to talk about science and scientists. I heard that Muslims, they have scientists, and uh, I am very interested in that topic. Uh, therefore, I invited a very famous scientist. His name is Malik. Uh, Malik, do you hear me? Dr. Malik? Yes, yes. How are you yeah. doing, Doctor Malik? You know, you, you have a you have how many? BH, no. You have a PhD in what? No, I don't have a PhD. So, what is your uh, science uh, specialty? Specialty. I, I just uh, help uh, elderly uh, people. You have you help what? Elder people, old people. You help older people. Okay. As long as you help other people, like, uh, do you remember when your prophet, he split the women to pieces? She was 86 years old between two camels. No. Is that how you help other people? No, no, no. I, I uh, help them. Uh, in, uh, so, you, oh, so you don't do it this way. You don't do it like your prophet because he, this is what he did. Uh-huh. What do you think about Muslim saying that there is Muslim scientist? As I know that all Muslim scientists, the Muslim keep uh, giving us their names, they are not Muslims. They left Islam, and many of them they, are, they never be Muslims anyway. So when Muslim they say there is Muslim scientist, is that for real or this is a joke? What do you think? Do you really believe there is Muslim scientist? I think, I think, I think yes. I think there were uh, some uh, in the past some uh, Muslim scientists. Uh, like who? Like, um, I, what I know is someone who do, uh, how do you do, uh, operation in the hospital? Oh, the okay. And, uh, this guy is a Muslim, was, uh, this guy is a Muslim scientist? Muslim guy. Yes, there was a Muslim guy. He, uh, he well, said what, that, what is the proof that he is a Muslim? Do you know? Like, when you say he is a Muslim, how do you know? By, by his name. By his name? What his name? I don't know. You can search it. You can search. Well, here we go. This is a website here, uh, written by uh, uh, you, Abdul's. It says here, the best of Muslims who left Islam. So those are scientists. All of them, they left Islam. And you will see every single one of them. In fact, he never been a Muslim. I mean, the Muslim, the, uh, the anyone, he have an Arabic name, including me, they will see he's a scientist if they, you know, if they could. So if we, let us see here, if we translate this page here. Are you going to tell me that Muslims are not smart enough? Well, how you can be a Muslim and you are smart? You have to convince me. How you are a Muslim, you believe in a book, it's called The Sun Set in a Muddy Boiling Water. And you are trying to tell me that you are smart. How that work? Do you see the website I'm showing you in the screen? A list of so-called best Muslim scholars. Actually, it's uh, scientists, not scholars. And they are pride through ages of those who apostate Islam. Do you see it? Those are all apostate from Islam. What is this, the Muslim scientist? All the names you Muslims are proud about, they are ex-Muslims. And none of them can be, even some of, some of the names here are fake. I mean, they are not Muslims at all. They've never been Muslims for a second. But anyway, just to go with them. Because Muslims, what they do, anyone get famous. I mean, Zulqarnain, which is Alexander the Great, Muhammad, he made him Muslim. <laughs> Isa is a Muslim. Musa is a Muslim. Uh, <laughs> The wife of a pharaoh is a Muslim. Even shaitan is Muslim. <laughs> Correct? Muslim, uh, the term Muslim, someone who submits to that. That's, that That's false. Muslim. Can you show me the word submit in the Quran? Where it says that the one who submit is a Muslim? Aslam, Aslam. Aslam, Aslam. 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 Yeah, Aslam doesn't mean submit. You speak Arabic. Aslam mean uh, surrender. Aslam to Aslam. Yeah, surrender. Surrender. See, just... surrender is not the same as submission. You see, now you correct yourself. That's good. You're you're yeah, getting better now. 
So listen, after I'm taking my aspirin, you know, Muslims getting better. So now Islam means surrender. Surrender mean you have no opinion if it's true or not. It's mean you put your, you know, you 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 surrender yourself to Muhammad. So you will live. He will not kill you. Uh, it's that's mean you don't believe. Do 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 Muslim? Okay, hold on. Do do Muslim believe in Islam? Do Muslim believe in Islam? Surrender to Allah. Do is it a condition to believe in Islam and Allah to is be a Muslim? A is it a condition? Yes, wait, I'm gonna answer. Okay. Is it a condition for me to be a Christian to follow Jesus? It, it's a condition to believe in Jesus to go to heaven, yes. But but it's not it's not a condition, it's not a condition, hold on, it's not be it's not a condition to be to be called a Muslim. Even if you don't believe in Islam, it's okay, you can be called a Muslim. Even if you don't believe in Allah, you don't believe in Muhammad, you still can you can be a Muslim. Is that true? Is that true? That's not true. Oh, so 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 why, so why why here in this verse here, in chapter forty eight verse fourteen, saying that the Bedouin they say we believe, Allah told them, tell Muhammad tell them, you don't believe, in in fact you just surrender to Islam. Faith never enter your heart. You just say you should say. Say we are Muslims. So Allah telling them those people don't say we are a believer, say we are Muslims. For faith never enter your heart. So Islam have nothing to do with faith. It's just surrender. Say shahada. See Islam 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 is a is a is a is a vote without permission, which means they make you vote for Muhammad. You don't need to believe in Muhammad. Just say Muhammad, the prophet of Allah Muhammad. And even though you don't believe in Muhammad. Faith never enter your heart, you know. Yet Allah is saying to you, say, call yourself a Muslim. Don't call you, don't say you're a believer, believer. Say, I am a Muslim, but don't say I'm a believer. So a Muslim and a believer is two different stories. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. I don't know, Malik, your voice is very low. I cannot hear you, man. I said to you, yeah. This court, the Discord screen doors open. This what? The Discord screen. The screen. The screen is what? Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay, read the chapter forty-nine, verse number fourteen, from your side. Forget about my screen. Chapter forty-nine, verse number fourteen. Guys, do you see my screen in the in this court? Do you see my screen? Oh, yeah, only oh, Abdul. Oh, only Abdul's cannot see my screen. It's invisible for them. I really don't see it. Sorry. I know this is a symptom of drinking camel urine. Is it scientific to drink camel urine? I saw an article written by a Japanese scientist. His name Yama Idulai Yama, fabricated article made by Muslims, saying that drinking camel urine, camel urine, camel urine. <laughs> camel urine. <laughs> Camel urine will make you so smart. Is that why you are so smart, Malik? We cannot debate you, man. I never, I never taste the camel blood. Why, why you don't do that? What camel urine? You should say urine camel. <laughs> so why you don't, why you don't, why you don't, why, 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 why you don't drink it? Why, why, what's the problem? Why, what's the problem? Why, why you don't drink it? Are you are not convinced of Muhammad's advice? I, but, what, but why the Jews uh, can uh, pray in the mosque? Why are you what? Why, why? The Jews. Why the Jews they pray you in the, the mosque? Jews? Well, that, that is a proof. Okay, that that is a proof that Muhammad is a liar because in the Quran it says that Lan tarda ankar nasara. Neither the Jews, neither the Christians will like what you do unless you join their belief. So that means if the Jews they are praying in the mosque, <laughs> that means Muhammad is a false prophet again. Here we go. The Jews they like with your mosque. <laughs> oh, I'm, really, really serious I'm serious. I'm serious. How the Quran, how the, how the Quran says that the Jews and the Christian they will never, you know, uh, they will never follow you, Muhammad. They will never like what you say, Muhammad. And now you are saying to me, why the Jews they pray in the mosque? So, so he didn't write. What? So the prophet didn't lie about it. No, he lied because the verse says the opposite. 
that the Christian, the Jews, they will never approve what you say, Muhammad. They will never like what you say, Muhammad, until you follow the religion. According to you, the Jews, they go and pray in the mosque. So those are hypocrite Jews. Don't you see those That's Jews? Why? Hold on, hold they on. Not, I will they, tell you why. I will tell you why. Afraid. I will tell you why. The same Jews who made Muhammad look like a fool is the same Jews making you look like a fool. Because isn't it the Quran says that the most people of enmity to Allah and his prophet is those who they are Jews? So now they are proving you again that Islam and the Quran is a stupid. Here we go. We are not. Huh? So the Quran told a lie. The Jews are not the most enmity to Muslims. It's a Christian prince. According to the Quran. But I sent you a couple of a couple uh, days ago. I sent you uh, a link to your chat. You sent me what? A link. I don't open links. Give me here the answer. See, the Quran is a stupid book. And those Jews, don't you see those Jews? They are screaming free, free Palestine. Those are really coward liars. You know, they are fake. You know, we know that those, they are not Jews. It's not everyone who says uh, he's a Jew. There's no way a Jew will, will side with a terrorist who want to kill the Jews. Those are fake people. They are just for money. God, God knows how much they are paying them. There's no way a Jew will do what they do. But those are hypocrite, coward liars. And you Muslims, you, you, you are in bed with them together. You know, uh, corrupt Muslims would corrupt Jews. Perfect matter. There's no way a Jew will support anyone killing, killing Jews people. There's no way. There's no way a Jewish person, he will say free Palestine when he knew that the whole book, even the Quran says this is the book, this is the land of the Jews. Isn't it your Quran say this is the land of the Jews? But there are some uh, rabbis. They say, those are not rabbis. Uh, those are those are yeah. Those are they won't betray their people for the sake of benefit. We do no. not know what the benefit. Oh really? No, no. Yes, oh, really. I'm, I'm telling you. Okay, hold on. You, you see, I, I want to ask you: Are you as a Muslim? Are you as a Muslim? Do you respect rabbis? I respect. You respect everyone. Yes. Is that what your Quran says? Yeah, that's what my parents says. This is what you? What what? My parents. Your parents? Okay. Well, yeah. uh, say hello to your parents. All right. I'm talking to a man. Uh, you know, this guy talking about his parents. Do we have any real, any real mature person? Who is a Muhammadan here would like to join us? You are a Muslim? O2? Go ahead, O2. Why, why you have a you have a picture of you without t-shirt? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I hear you. Why you have a, a picture of you without a t-shirt? It's an old picture of mine. Anything wrong with it? Something you don't like? Uh, no, I mean, you need to eat, man. You look like a chicken. Yeah, I have to eat. Oh, yeah. okay. But uh, so you are a Muslim? isn't this like... So you are a Muslim? Are we going to insult each other? No, no, no. So are you a Muslim? Are not. <laughs> no, I'm not a Muslim, yeah. Okay, so why you are here? Why you are here? So I saw something here that you say, uh, I think it was uh, no, number 39 about the Quran. And I think you have a false argument there. Number 39? About the Quran. Yeah, um, you spoke with uh, Malik earlier. Uh -huh. And uh, he said, and uh, you showed him your, uh, about faith and that faith is not in people's hearts. Can you show that one again? All right. But you are not, are you, so you, what do you think about Muhammad? I don't think anything bad of him, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not a Muslim. Again, no, I, I, because how, actually... you, how, how you know what the Quran is saying if you are not a Muslim? How what do you mean? What I know about became, the Quran? I just, became, I just, I said you became a professional said, because you just you became, showed me. You, you just showed me that verse. Hold on. How you became professional in the Quran if you do not know what? You are not a Muslim. What does it mean, a professional in the Quran? Because are you, you a professional in the Quran? Do you have education? Yes, I have. I graduate from Muslim schools. I am qualified to be a judge in Islamic court. Who are you? Okay, so you're qualified. Can you show us documents or something about it? I, I'm going to work for yeah. you. I'm going to work for you. Well, I have a document from a fucking thing as well. Then, ah, if we're you gonna have stay a document you're not going to show proof. Then, okay, get out of you're here. Not going to show proof. Get out of here. 
son of filthy women. You, you must, no wonder you have a picture of you naked. Coward. Here you say I give false argument. Well, the we can open the interpretation for the Quran. Everybody will laugh at you. You are just a donkey. You don't dare to say you are a Muslim. And you claim that I'm lying. I can open right now the interpretation for the verse. And even the verse says, don't say that you are a Muslim. Don't say you are a believer. Say you are a Muslim. <laughs> Here, Muhammad, verse number 48, verse 16, he threatened them to convert to Islam. If you don't convert to Islam, I will kill you. If you obey Allah and his messenger, you are fine. And then they converted to Islam. And this is verse number 49, chapter 49. The Bedouins say, we believe. Allah say to Muhammad, tell them, say, you believe not. You believe not. Tell them, you believe not. You should say, Aslamna, walakin qulu aslamna. Say, we are Muslims. <laughs> and this donkey, you know, he, uh, yeah, he's, uh, you know, can you show me document? And we can show the interpretation, but you cannot keep your mouth shut without saying the F word because this is what your mom taught you. And I wonder what your mom she say when she called you to for dinner. Hey, what is the effing son I have, which I get him from an effing man in the bar. You can open right now any interpretation and you will see it says what I am saying. Those people don't believe in Allah. They never believe. Even the verse says faith never entered their heart. But they should say we are Muslims. You should say we surrender. Qul. Qulu. Qulu. Say. Say. He's telling them what to say. Call yourself a Muslim, but don't call yourself a believer. And we can go right now to see the interpretation, any interpretation of any Abdul choice. Again, this is chapter 49, verse number 14. We don't have time for he for donkeys. You want to see document? I never saw a Muslim, he's smart. See, this is Ibn Abbas. Those are Muslim hypocrites. They are Muslims. They don't believe. They joined into Islam with their family and their children to benefit from the Prophet. Here they are saying from the benefit to the nation. <laughs> False translation. <laughs> From the booty. <laughs> so Allah said to them, say, you should say we are Muslim. Don't say we are believers. Here, if you read the translation, just to show you how Muslims, even in their, in their interpretation, everyone, he had his own interpretation for the same story. You know, if you, if you take 10 Muslims to a movie, Every one of them, he have different ending for the same movie. The Bedouin a group of men among the Banu Asad said, we believe. We affirm the truth in our heart. Say to them, you did not believe, but say we have submitted, in fact, surrender. You see? For faith never enter your heart. However, if you obey the prophet and the messenger, you are fine. By embracing faith, they, how they embrace faith if they don't believe in the faith? <laughs> Those people don't believe in it. So embrace me in just a full of practice. Practice, but don't believe. It's okay. And if you do so, Allah is all forgiving. Uh -huh. See? If you do so, Allah will reward you. No, we're no problem. Do we have any Abdul? Going back to our topic about scientists. Where is the Muslim scientist? How come you Muslim claim that you have scientists? And as you see, all of them, all of them, they are not Muslims. Look at this. 
Look at this article with the reference. Ibn al muqaffa Muslim, they claim that he is a Muslim. Is he? Let us translate one by one. Ibn al muqaffa by the way, is a fantastic writer. Amazing writer, actually, in Arabic. And why? Okay. Let us translate. Why is not working? Okay, hold on. Maybe, maybe we need to zoom out. For some reason, this thing is not highlighting correctly. All right, now. Read carefully. This is Ibn al muqaffa a very famous... Ibn al muqaffa he was accused of heresy and was subsequently killed by Sufi Ibn Wawiyah. He crucified him, cut his flesh piece by piece, and roasted it in the fire in front of his eyes until he died. Source, The Beginning and the End by Ibn Kathir 96-10. You see it? This is Ibn al-Muqaffa, number two. Let us go to number two. Al-Farabi. It's not highlighting everything. I don't know why. Come on. Oof. There is something wrong with this page coding. I am unable to highlight easy. Al Farabi. By Farabi, he was one of the greatest philosophers, the most atheist and the most recalcitrant. He preferred the philosopher to the prophet, and he had articles in that regard denying the resurrection. Source, The Savior from Miskidens, pages 98 The Beginning and the End, 224-11 Relief of the Anxious, 601-2. All right. So Al-Farabi, the translation actually is not accurate, Al-Farabi is one of the most well-known atheist, ex-Muslim, and he is a philosopher. Uh, he prefer any philosopher than what anyone called, like Muhammad, called himself a prophet. And he wrote many articles, especially about denying anything called resurrection, which means life after life after death. Let's continue. Ibn Sina. You see, all of this is coming with reference. Can the Muslims say we are making things up? This is, this is a reference from their books. The very famous Ibn Sina. Ibn Sina, the Imam of Atheists. From the mystical Karmatians, he disbelieves in God, his angels, his books, his messengers, in the last day, and has misguidance and blasphemy such that the heavens opened for them. Source, The Savior from Misguidance, pages 98 The Beginning and the End, 12-42 The Biography of Alam al-Nubala 531-1-539. See, all the reference are coming from Muslim books, who they are, like, uh, those are the Muslim terrorists like Ibn Kathir and etc. So this guy is the Imam of Atheist. Allahu Akbar. He deny Allah and his angels and his books and his messengers. And the last day, and he teach misguidedness and blasphemy. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> but if you ask Muslim, they will say to you, this is a Muslim scientist. <laughs> Abu Ala il Maori. One after one. <laughs> Are we having fun, guys? The only problem with this page here, I cannot highlight to translate. All right, let us see. Finally. For Abu Al Ala al Mari. He is famous for being a heretic in the style of the Brahmin philosophers, and in his poems there is evidence of his atheism and dissolution of religion. 
Ibn al-Jawzi mentioned that he saw a book by him called Al-Fusil wa al gayt fi opposition al-Suwar wa al ad according to the letters of the dictionary and its many ugliness. Source, Al-Nazim 148-8 Al-Bidani wa al-Nahiya, 72-12. So they are giving sources from two books. So uh, 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 Abu Ala al muarri is a very, very, very disgusting atheist, ex-Muslim. Let us see Abu Bakr al-Razi, the very famous scientist. I mean, which, who is left? Who is left, Abdul? We did not even start yet. And by the way, not only that, when I was in the school, like in a uh, teenage, you know, I asked the teacher about each one of those because they list them as Arab. Arab, you know, most of them, they list them as Arab. But most of them, they have nothing to do with the Arab. So I asked, like, Al-Khawarizmi, why is called Al-Khawarizmi? He said he is from the city of Khawarizm. So why they are teaching us that those are Arab? Khawarizm is in Iran, Persia. So most of them, they are coming from Persia. And... In our books, in the history books, in the Middle East, they teach us those Arab Muslims. Arab, not only Muslim, Arab Muslim. And it turned to be they are not Arab and they are not Muslims. Bubakr al Razi, one of the major heretics and atheists, he believes in the five ancients that correspond to the doctrine of the Sabian Haris, which are God, the soul, matter, time, and space. He surpasses the disbelief of the philosophers who say that the spheres are ancient, and he is classified in this doctrine, and his victory and heresy are famous. Source, Dur al Tatawa 346-9 with Minhai al Sunnah, 209-1 total fatwas, 304-6. So all of those references, as you see, this guy Abu Bakr al-Razi, he is a big fat atheist. Let us continue. Shall we continue, guys, or enough? The list is so long, and actually not all of them in one page. They are all over the place. But uh, uh, let us see Al-Kindi. Muslim scientist, huh? Yeah, true story. And your God believed the sunset in murky water? And they say to you that Islam is, we have the mathematic, the, the one who created algebra too. Your God in the Quran, he says eight pairs, and he think eight pairs is eight animals. Eight pairs is eight animals. So this is Yaqub ibn Ishaq. It did not highlight it. Uh, it is Jacob. Okay, the, the translation is not correct. So Jacob ibn Ishaq, Al-Kindi. Yaqub ibn Ishaq, Al-Kindi, a philosopher one of the first Muslim philosophers, an astrologer who went astray in his religion, like his fellow philosophers. He was so misguided that he denied revelation and tried to oppose the Quran with his words. Source, Listen Al-Muzan, 373-6 Introduction by Ibn Khaldun, 331 Total Fatwas, 186-9. <laughs> Next. <laughs> What a scandal. Muslim, those are Muslim, huh? Those are Muslims. Ah, okay, they are Muslims. All right. Ibn, Tuf, Ibn Tufayl. Let us see this one. Uh, let us translate two. Okay, hold on. We, 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 uh, we'll skip this one. Man, oh man. I cannot highlight this thing. Strong with this page. Because I want to highlight the, it's not highlighting, I don't know why. Okay, we try to highlight two scientists in the same time. No. All right, now. Uh, almost, almost, uh, almost, okay, almost. There's one letter missing, Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Tufail. And there is two scientists here, Ibn Tufail and Ibn Al-Haytham. Very famous, Ibn al-Haytham. Starting with Ibn Tufayl. About uh, Ibn Tufayl. Ibn Tufayl, one of the atheist imams of his time, among the philosophers, said that the world was ancient and other atheist statements. Source, Preventing Conflict, 11-1, 56-69 Ibn al-Haytham, 
He was one of the atheists who departed from the religion of Islam and was equal to Ibn Sina in knowledge, foolishness, atheism, and miscadence. He was in the state of the heretics of the Ubaidites. He, like other philosophers like him, spoke of the antiquity of knowledge in other infidels. Source, Preventing Conflict, 281-2 in the History of Philosophers, pages 270 Fatwas of the Sheikh of Islam, 135-35. Uh, you know, just a comment here. The, the funny is that the guy they call him Sheikh al-Islam himself, he was accused to be ex-Muslim too. <laughs> the one who is accusing those people that he is, they are ex-Muslims. <laughs> He was accused to be ex-Muslim, and he died in jail because he was an ex-Muslim. <laughs> the guy writing books about ex-Muslim, they are evil, they are disgusting, they are, you know, they are sons of Muta. Let us expose them, Allahu Akbar, and then himself, they capture him. <laughs> they put him in jail, and he died as ex-Muslim. <laughs> Shall we continue? What do you think, guys? Shall we continue? Who is a Muslim then? Nobody left. Let us continue. Atusi. Latusi, a supporter of disbelief, polytheism, and atheism, a misguided, atheist philosopher who was a minister to Hulagu and who advised him to kill the Caliph and the Muslims and keep the philosophers and atheists. He tried to replace Ibn Sina's book El Sharat with the Quran and opened schools for astrology, philosophy, and atheism. Great. Source, Warding Off Conflict, 67-5 The Beginning and the End. 267-13 Relief to the Anxious, 601-2 See how many books reference for what they are saying? So you cannot say it's a lie. You can check it out. <clears throat> Let us continue. A Jahiz, oh that is this guy, guys. I, I remember when I was a, I was a, like a kid, I bought this uh, the book of a Jahiz. My dad, he saw the book on the table. He said, who is the one who bought this book? You know, and I said, me, he said, you, you can understand this book? Seriously, this book is very complicated. This guy is a genius. I have to say he's a genius, you know, in writing, unbelievable. Yeah, and again, he is an ex-Muslim, obviously. There's no question about it. I don't believe, actually, they are Muslims at all. But you know, as usual, uh, you know, anyone who lives in the society is a Muslim, especially if he's a famous. Remember, Muhammad, he said everyone is born as a Muslim. <laughs> I cannot even highlight this stupid thing. Okay, 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 almost, 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 yeah, finally. al jahus he was a bad informer, of bad belief, and innovations and miscadence were attributed to him, and perhaps some of them considered him to be a disbander. al qutb narrated with this chain of transmission that he did not pray and was accused of heresy. Source, The Beginning and the End, November 19th. Uh, he never prayed to Allah. Why he should? Why he should? Let us continue. So this is a jahiz. Let us see Abdas Abbas ibn Farnas. <laughs> this guy he tried to, to fly. He put wings for himself and he tried to to fly. I cannot. Sorry, I don't know, guys. It's giving me hard time to highlight this thing. All right. I think I need to start from this direction next time. There's only one letter missed. Okay, here we go.
12 Abbas ibn Furnas, a philosopher, musician, singer, and astrologer to whom magic and alchemy were attributed. His religion was frequently criticized, his faith was accused, and he was accused of heresy. In addition, he was an obscene poet, fond of singing and music. Source, quoted from Al-Andalus, pages 279 Naf al-Tab, 3. All right. Let us continue. I mean, that's uh, Ibn Rushd. Let us see Ibn Rushd. Ibn Rushd is very famous. Philosopher. Thirteen Ibn Rushd a misguided atheist philosopher who says that the prophets imagined to people the opposite of reality, and he says that the world is ancient and denies the resurrection. He tried to reconcile the Sharia and Aristotle's philosophy in his two books, Fasl al-Makal and Menhai al-Nila, and he agreed with Aristotle and venerated him. His Shiite support is greater than Ibn Sina's approval and glorification of him. He supported the atheist philosophers in the incoherence of incoherence and is considered one of the mystical philosophers and his atheism is famous. Source, Sire Lam al-Mubala 307-21 Preventing Conflict, 11-1-127-152 Oh boy. Uh, sorry guys, the translation like in other language because translating Arabic is not going to come right, but... Uh. Better than nothing, and saving me from translating. Uh, I'm going to give you the link, you know, like, you know, uh, all of those scientists. They are not exist. I mean, they are not, Muslim, not Muslims, as you see. And this is just some. I can show you other articles. There is tons and tons of those names Like Ibn Khaldun as an example, you know, you will notice that all of those, they are ending either in jail, get killed. So if they are Muslims and you Muslims appreciate them, who killed them? Like what happened to Ibn Khaldun? The one who said that the Arab are willing to burn a library in order to cook a dish. They will burn a library, and this is what he mentioned about Alexandria. You give them a library full of books, treasures of books. They will burn them just to cook a dish. Now, having enough with the so-called scientist in Islam, what about the stupidity of the Quran? Like when a Muslim, he says, speak about mathematics. Do the, Muslim, the mathematics of the Quran work? Huh? Like as an example, when your God Allah, he says, eight pairs, and then he count them, it turned to be there are eight animals. What kind of God he say eight pairs and then he count eight animals? Any Muslim? Is eight pairs is the same as eight animals? Eight pairs are 16 animals. Any Muhammadan? What kind of Quran is speak about how the baby is made in a very funny, silly, stupid, not even a donkey will, ma will mention it. That the dead blood will become a baby. Huh? This is the book of God?
What about Dr. Muhammad? The one who knows how everything is made. Dr. Muhammad, blood upon him, said, Uh, sunnah. All right. As we know that Muhammad was been taught by Allah, he did not go to school. According to Muslim, he is illiterate. However, all reference proved to us that Muhammad was Dr. Muhammad. In fact, he is the top scholars when it's come to biology, astron ast astronomy, I mean, you name it. Anything, anything you can imagine. Muhammad, he knew everything. Uh, as an example, Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad, sorry, he is the one who find out how long the semen stay in the womb. So he said that when a drop of semen rem remain in the womb for 40 or 45 nights, until now scientists, they could not find out such a discovery. However, we are expecting in the coming billion year to come that they will find that. It's just a matter of time. Right? Hey, Malik, you are back? Why are you are back, Malik? You, you, you brought your parents with you? Hello? Malik. Okay, I don't know why he is in the stage. Get out. So look at Muhammad. How Prophet Muhammad, if he is not tr taught truly by Allah all this information, how he knew this? That's incredible. And then those Christians and people like Christian Prince, those phobia people, huh? Islamophobia, they say to you that Islam is bad and Muhammad is a liar. But all evidence says it clearly that Prophet Muhammad, I mean, Dr. Muhammad, is absolutely legitimate. 45, and look, Prophet Muhammad, he is not sure, to be honest with you. Like Allah, he told him, but he forgot the exact number. 40, well, depend, depend. Maybe Allah told him this, Allah told him this way, uh, 40, 45. Because the bend, like if you are Zakir Naik and you, your shoulder is so big and you are so heavy, you know, it, it's going to take you 45. If you are a small person, etc., 40. 40. You know? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who can beat that? Nobody. You know? Uh, if we talk about astronomy, Allah is the one who found that the sun set in a muddy, boiling water. The Muslim, they try to duct tape the Quran. They say to you, <clears throat> Get the breath. Get the ball. The Quran said the sun appeared to be set in murky water. The Quran never said that the sun is set in murky water. This is what? From his perspective. Is that kind of what perspective? What? Stop spitting, man. What is the word perspective? They ask Muhammad about where, uh, what happened to Zulqarnayn. They didn't ask him about the sunset or anything. They ask him, can you tell us about Zulqarnayn, which is Alexander the Great. Muhammad the idiot, he caught a story written by Yaqub the Suryani, Jacob the Syriac. He wrote a story, fiction story, about a real person, which is Alexander the Great. So he went all the way, he found where the sun set. He found it sitting in a muddy, boring water. The stupid Muhammad, he took the story, he put it in the Quran. And then the Muslims, in order to fix it, they said to you, this is was from his perspective. But do you see until when he reached the sitting place of the sun? Where is the sitting place of the sun? <laughs> that from his perspective too. <laughs> hey, Zulkarnain, uh, how are you doing, man?
Uh, I was talking. Uh, I'm Christian Prince from uh, the internet. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, internet, it's uh, just to let you know, uh, we have right now, we reach our service all the way to where the sun set, which is in the muddy water and boiling water. Uh, okay. Uh, how that work? It's not very easy. Do you have Muhammad in your hand? Block him in any hole you see. And then you will be connected. Okay, okay, I will do it right now. But I cannot find Muhammad. Ah, he's not born yet. Hold on. You have to wait until Muhammad is born. So this is a stupid story. Muhammad, he take it, he put it in the Quran. Then the Muslim, he tried to fix it. But if you go in the Hadith, you know, Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. This guy is a talking machine. His mom, she told him, my, my son, stop talking. You are an idiot. So look what Muhammad said. His perspective, huh? Zakir Naik? Uh -huh. Let us see the perspective. Narrated Abu Dhar, I was sitting behind the message of Allah. And by the way, there is a reason for that. Never sit in the front of Muhammad. According to Muslim, he can if as 40 men. In fact, one of his titles is the Ifim Prophet. Excuse my language, but this is not uh, to speak dirty. But this is how the Muslim describe him. He can if like 40 men. In fact, in heaven, he will have the power of 100 men of people of heaven, which means 4,000 men. So he have the power of 4,000 effing men. Unbelievable. And still those Christians don't believe. I mean, your penis is the proof if you are a prophet or not. A person, his penis is not so strong. Obviously, he's not a prophet. The more strong it is, I heard that the Prophet Muhammad, he used, even the, the, the police squad, they used to open use his penis to smash any door. Like, open the door. The drug cartel, he don't open the door. Muhammad, shoot your penis. The door is open. Immediately. Subhanallah. Smash Allah. So I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey, while the sun was sitting. While what? The sun was sitting. He asked, uh, do you know where this set? Is? I like it when you when you accompany a philosopher, an astron like astronomy person, a biology person. I mean, knowledge, knowledge. He drip knowledge. Even when he is in the top of the donkey, his poop is knowledge. Even his donkey, by the way, he poop knowledge. So he was riding the donkey. He said, "Do you know, <coughs> oh, Abu Dhar, Do you know where this set? He mean the sun. Uh, Abu Dhar, He have to play the the, the potato like." to praise Muhammad, you know. Oh, uh, Allah, Apostle, uh, Allah and his Apostle know best. Muslims, you see, Muslims, they say to you, they believe in monotheism. But in one hand, they put Muhammad in the Shahada and they made, they associate him with the knowledge of Allah. Allah and his Prophet knows best. <laughs> Not Allah knows best. No, no, no. Allah and his Prophet. Kuffar, Mushrikeen, they say they are monotheist. He said, <coughs> okay, let me tell you a secret. Don't tell anyone, especially Christian Prince. <laughs> Okay, it's set in a spring of warm water. I need to pee. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, Muhammad, it's set in a spring. Actually, in fact, in Arabic, it doesn't say warm. It says a blazing hot. Hamia, in fact, this is a word used in the Quran to describe the hell. To describe what? Hell. If we type the word, have, actually, hold on. I will copy it from the Arabic hadith here. And paste it in the Quran here, just to show you. See? This is not warm. Fast translation. This is the description of how hot the hell will be. Hot. So it's set in a hot, blazing, blazing hot water. And the Muslim, they say to us that they have Muslim scientists. And then the Muslim, when they try to fix it, they say to you, hold on. Don't you go to the beach, you see the sun sitting in the ocean. Abdul, it says it clearly, first of all, that this is a spring of water. I mean, Muhammad, he did not give you a chance to fix it. It's a spring of water. So obviously, I am convinced, and I'm sure you are convinced, that Muhammad and Islam 
very much connected to science. Uh, and Muhammad, all of him, is about science. In fact, Prophet Muhammad, uh, 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 eyes upon him. He is the one he found uh, uh, that ice come from mountains in heaven. <laughs> the prophet knew this. Ice come from mountains in heaven? Seriously? Hail? And look, the Muslim, they tried to fix it in translation. So look what they say. He sent down from the sky like mountain. What? What? What is like? <laughs> then the, 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 the guy who is translating to cover his butt, he says, or oh, there are there are in he in heaven mountains of hell. <laughs> yeah, there's no or. This is what it says. He sent hell from mountains in heaven, and the Arabic in the front of us. وَيُنِزِّرُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرَدٍ فَيُصِبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ So he sent down from heaven, from mountains in heaven, hail. There's hail, there's mountain of hail in heaven. How Prophet Muhammad knew this? I mean, seriously. If Muhammad is not a truly prophet of God, how he knew that there's mountains of hell in heaven and Allah break it pieces, pieces, pieces and he throw it at the one he don't like. This is what the verse is saying. He throw it at the one he wills. Like Christian prince. <laughs> oh, who hit my head? I'm Allah because you don't worship me. Oh, okay, Allah. <laughs> Let me get the umbrella. I will never worship you. Throw more. What the heck? How no Prophet Muhammad Hail upon him, he knew this information. Are you kidding me? And those people, they say to you that Islam does not have science. Don't listen to those Christian uh, phobia people. It's documented, documented. Uh, Zakir, do you want to say anything to the crowd? First of all, I advise all Muslim not to return to the prince because he lied. Zakir Naik, I'm showing the reference in front of you on the screen. Exactly. And this is why it's a lie. Zakir Naik, why you say so? Christian Prince, isn't you every day you say the Quran is a lie? Uh, yeah. Exactly. So if the Quran is a lie and the reference you are someone else, it's a lie. Thank you very much. You got a point there. <laughs> you got me busted. This is the first time Zach and Nick, he was he was the floor with me. Zach and Nick, you just destroyed me, man. Exactly. Because you did game day. You say the Quran is a lie. And now you are telling us a reference coming from a book. You yourself you say it's a lie. So how you can prove to us that the lie is a lie from a book is a lie? Zach and Nick, this is a philosophy. I it's above my grade. I mean, that's wow, that's good. Oof. Zachar, did somebody help you with this? Exactly. Allah helped me. He gave me one lie more to prove that the lie is lie. So we don't know whether you're going to prove a lie by a lie or a liar. The lie not. Thank you very much. Zachar, I just get lost. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, guys. Christian Prince is showing your reference from a book is full of lies. What he say? Do you believe it? If he's saying the Quran is a book of lies, how he can show you the proof of the lies from the lies. Hello? You got the point there. Anyway, everything is possible these, these days. If Kamala Harris can be a president, why Prophet Muhammad cannot <laughs> be a prophet? <laughs> Kamala Harris, what a stupid American. <laughs> Those Americans are really doomed. I don't know people around the world how much they are laughing at America these days. <laughs> Who? Kamala Harris. We got rid of Biden, we got Kamala. <laughs> this, country, this country is screwed. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I know, I know. Many of you now we will start believing on, on the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy anyway uh, 
Do you think Kamala can win? For sure she will win. Not only could our friend, if they were able to steal the first election, and they are not in the office, they will not be able to steal it now. Are you kidding me? Those uh, Republicans, they are just a bunch, a bunch of dumb. They are excited. They think they would win. They would never win. How you can win? Those are Democrats. Fraud, you know, fraud. Fraud is their, is their game. And you can win. How you can win? There's no election. This is why they don't want uh, ID for election. They don't want, why? Did you, do you know, can you explain why they don't want ID? Yeah, we know why, because ID mean we cannot, there is nobody can go and vote with different person ID. That's the whole idea. So now we can send the paper in by mail, millions of papers and say this, even dead ones, they can vote. Yeah. So uh, she will win. Uh, I believe mostly she will, you know. Mostly she will. Trump is no better. You know, no, you know, I don't know what people say, but the Trump is a businessman, he is a smart that in, in he have common sense when it's come to business. Those people are stupid, they are illusionate. They make they they cut the price, you know, the, the, the gas. We are not allowed to dig for gas in our country, but we buy it from Qatar. Stupid mental. In fact, we were buying from Russia just four months after the war with Ukraine. This is how donkeys they are. So we have a lot of oil in USA, more than any country in the world. And then because we want to go green. But did they go green? No, they buy it from Qatar. So they are mentally ill. They open the borders. 10 millions, 10 millions, not 10,000, 10 millions. Prostitution, human trafficking, homeless, crimes, rape. 10 millions undocumented people inside the country. This is just in, in since Biden entered the uh, became president. So those... Democrat, they have no common sense. Whatever you want to say about Trump, the shoes of a Trump is way smarter than all of them together. Only donkeys, they think Trump will not make America really, as he said, great again, because Gaza price will be cheap, border will be closed, country will be respected. All wars happen when Trump, he left. Why? Because they don't fear America no more. And if we have this Kamala Harris in the office, Everybody would spit at the American. They would kidnap American everywhere. Look at the look at the 50 Biden. They kidnapped more than 50 American by Hamas. He did not even send an American soldiers. If a Trump was in the office, he would say, I will give you 24 hours to release them. And they will be released. The same as Ronald Reagan, he said to Iran during the hostages, he said to them, be a better for you. He just won the election. Before I arrive to the White House. You better release the hostages. And they released them before he arrived to the White House. All the world is collapsing, war everywhere, because the only policeman, sadly, is not a policeman no more. Russia attacked Ukraine because we have a weak president. Somalia is attacking uh, uh, American ship, uh, 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 even at Houthi, even Hezbollah, because they knew nobody will stop them. Who's going to stop them? And not only they don't, stop them they don't allow other to stop them so they put the pressure on israel not to stop them so only donkeys will think that democrat will do better for america i say to you clearly only certified donkeys not only that only antichrist people they will vote for democrat for democrat they are antichrist in every way in every mean every value they stand for is against the bible in fact, name one for me is with the Bible. None. So if you are a Christian and you vote for them, you are an antichrist. And I assure you, you will go to hell. Biden is the one who put the homosexual flag in the day of Easter to insult Christ in the White House. In the day of Easter, not other day. In the same day of Easter, instead of celebrating the Easter day, he put the LGBTQ society flag. And you want the whole world to fear you? So having this idiot, Kamala Harris, is going to be a continue, especially actually she is more liberal than him. So you can imagine what will happen in the warehouse. In the, uh, it's going to be a warehouse, not a White House. <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, 
CP is judge and jury now? No, I am not judge, neither a jury. We have the Bible. Don't be stupid. The Bible says clearly who is going to go to hell. And if you are a coward, you don't dare to say what the Bible says, that because you are a fake believer. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So the judge and the jury is their own fruit. Not me. And the stupid people like you who say CP is the judge and the jury because you are a donkey. From their fruits, you shall know them. We call the man a rapist because he raped. Not because we call him a rapist for fun. We call someone drug dealer because he do drug and he deal with it. Not because we call people names. Only foolish people, they say the st statement you just said. We call somebody child molester for he is a child molester. We call him a pedophile because he's a pedophile. We call him a thief because he stole. So stop being a stupid, perfectly correct. You know what? Those who they are perfectly correct, they are even not men to be called men. Because he will not dare to say to his wife no if she's wrong. He will not dare to say to his friend if he touched the legs of his wife. Because he is perfectly correct. His wife is free. Be open-minded. Potatoes. In here we say the truth as it is. And the one like it, like it. The one who don't, who care. Anyway, I want to say thank you all. And uh, however, in, in the election day, I'm going to go and vote. It's not right to say they will win. We do our best and we try. But we know that this Democratic Party, they stole the election first time when they are not in the office. They control everything. The FBI under their control, the CIA, every field, every the IRS, all everything is under their control. To the point, Trump, when he was a president, he was able to do nothing really. Imagine how much, how evil they are to the point even they, the president, they disabled his account in Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. He is the president. This guy, he can use nukes, but he cannot open his account in YouTube. Do you see how evil they are? And they say to you that they support the freedom of his speech. This is what they say. But the second you disagree with you, they censor you. In fact, they assassinate you. This is the truth. And they claim that they are democratic, when in fact they are terrorist. They are the same as any Islamic regime. The second you say something they don't like, they immediately cancel you. And they try their best to put Trump in jail just to stop him from going to the election. They tried everything. Hunter Biden, they have his computer. They have his bribes there. They have emails about his bribe. They have there his text. They have porn pictures of him having sex around. They have all violation. He did not pay 1.5 million as tax. Still he's out. And they tried to give him a deal so he can escape. But he was unlucky because the judge was not one of the Democrats. Otherwise, almost he's out. He's not in jail right now. And tomorrow, his father, before he leaves the office, he will burden him. Just wait. But the poor Trump, oh, he gave this woman hush money because he don't want her to talk to his family. Oh, let us bring him here. Oh, he took a mortgage 20 years ago. And he paid the mortgage. Look, look at the crimes they are looking for. They are creating crimes just to stop the man. And when they could not, they assassinate, they tried to assassinate his reputation. He's a KKK, he's a racist, he hit black people, he hit Muslims, he signed a grid to, to stop six Muslim countries. It was done by Obama. Obama is the one who signed it. Oh, he put the migrant in the cages. It was Obama who put the cages, not Trump. 
Oh, he's, he called the migrant animals false. He did not. He called the rapist. He was speaking about those who killed and raped. They try to assassinate the man in every way they can. And when they could not assassinate his reputation so he will lose, they try to assassinate him for real. In fact, it's going to be hard to believe that he will survive into the election. I believe they will repeat the attempt and this time they might do something to his airplane. They will not let him go to the election. They knew they would do anything to stop him. Just wait. So we will see what will happen. They failed first time. I mean, can you believe it, this assassination attempt? I mean, the security of a gang member is better than the security. Secrets, when you, when you hear a secret service, you think, wow. I mean, those are the top of the army, maybe. They are a bunch of, excuse me with the language, fat. Did you see the women? They are short, five, five, five foot. Each one of them, she is not qualified even to run for 10 meters. Even the men are not qualified to run. And one is sniper in the top of the roof. What the heck for? Is that how you do? Secure? <laughs> you put the snipers everywhere, but not behind the guy. You secure every roof. You secure, secure every, every high building from far, far, two miles away. Not, not one, not fifty, not even one hundred yards. I mean, this is just, this is, it, it's a clear that they want him to be killed. This is not the the leader of the security. Just this is this is a this is a plan. They made it easy to anyone to do it. A security of any any idiot gang leader, he have a better security than Trump. Anyway, I hope I am wrong. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about those women. Did you see the video? I mean, have you ever heard of a, a women? They are shorter. First of all, the one you protect, you should be taller than him. You should be taller than the one you protect. So even if he is six foot, they have to find somebody taller. You don't bring a woman, she is not fit, physically not fit. Not only she's not tall, look at them. Go watch the video. They hardly can climb the, 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 the stairs. And they are wearing those uh, sunglasses, funny in that, you know. I mean, it's just a short time and the suit. I believe that all of those hired doing a favor to somebody. Like you have a friend, hello, can you put him in the secret service, please? He have no job, he's homeless. Can you get him a job? Sure, sure, go, what's his name? Do he knew how to use a gun? Okay, no problem. Keep bring him here. Otherwise, all of those in the secret the secret service, if you check them, none of them is a qualified. Even the one who have high gear and they are in the stage, you look like an idiot. <laughs> it was it was a joke. This is secret service. This is secret Zachar Naik. <laughs> I don't like girls. What does this have to do with girls? But girls are not fit for such a job. Girls, they can be good to have them in a secret service. If somebody want to enter the building, uh, uh, the, the, the person is a woman, you need to check her. Yeah, you, you use women, but not for such a, you know, bodyguards in the stage. They don't fit there. Anyway, uh, well, we finish with the science of Allah. And uh, what we can say? Anyway, I encourage you in the day of election to go and vote. Otherwise, you will have a president like Kamala Harris, who laughed even in the funeral. Kamala Harris uh, Joe Biden, he died 
<laughs> you <Unity? laughs> uh, uh, Kamara Harris, do you know how many child they die in the border? Really? <laughs> how many? <laughs> how many? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Kamara Harris, uh, uh, do you know like uh, how many women they are used for human trafficking in this border? Uh, have you have you been in the border? I did not go to Europe too. <laughs> I did not go to Europe. <laughs> like what the heck? So imagine we will have. Commander Harris, a president for the coming eight years. I will migrate where I will go. Somalia, better than this country after that. Anyway, take care, guys. God bless you. God is good. So is Jesus. And we are victorious, no matter who is going to be in this office. They will be doomed. They will be punished. All those who go against God, they will be punished. Nation, leaders, individual, it doesn't matter. God is going to punish them all. And don't think that time is working for your benefit. It is not. All they will be punished. See you again soon. And we pray to the Lord to keep you safe, at least mentally, spiritually, so nobody will make you pervert, nobody will demonize you, nobody will destroy your soul. The Lord, he says, fear not those who destroy your body, your flesh, but those who destroy your spirit. So never, never compromise. You compromise once, you have to compromise again and again and again. And then you find yourself, you compromise everything. And then you find that you yourself, you're being compromised. Today, oh, we should use this word. We cannot use this word no more. Tomorrow, two words are taken from the dictionary. The day after, three days, three, three words, five words, 10 words, 10, 20 words, 100. And then you will find that all your dictionary is gone because you decide to compromise one day, one word. Compromise is like a chain have many 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 rings and each time they drag one ring the second one will come after and this is what they are trying to do to you they are trying to make you compromised a puppy a dog some elite il, 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 like the, the, il, the elite of the society who they are the pervert they are the one who decide who will be the president. Look what, what they did to Joe Biden. The rich ones, they say, we will not donate. They are the one who chose the president. The rich ones, they said, we will not donate. The one who is a president, he stepped down. Because the elite of the society, who they are nothing but pervert, they are the one who made the president. It's not your vote. The rest is just chickens and dogs and puppies. They will not donate. So what he did, he stepped down. They brought another one. They will donate. Oh, now she is secure. We know who chose the president in this country. You know. Thank you all for being here. God is good. So is